Hello, I'm Rebecca Flaherty and this week I have a mini tutorial for you on making really quick and simple seamless background textures for your surface pattern designs. I love to use texture on my motifs and it really makes a pattern look pulled together if the background has some texture in it too. It's easy to forget that this also needs to be perfectly seamless, but it's easier than you'd think to get it right using a free piece of software called GIMP. You can use this method for any type of textured image, either a photograph, something you've hand painted and scanned, or something you've made in Procreate. I'll walk you through two examples. One is this textured background I made in Procreate, and the other is a texture I've grabbed from unsplash.com. First of all, you need to go to gimp.org and download it to your desktop computer. Unfortunately, you won't be able to get it on your iPad. There is something looking very suspiciously similar to GIMP in the App Store, but it is not the same thing. This thing has awful reviews, and as GIMP say on their website, GIMP team does not provide downloads using Apple's App Store at the moment. Any downloads on the store are created by third parties and is not any way connected to the GIMP team. So definitely make sure to avoid that one. Place your texture into the pattern tile you want to use it in. You can adjust the size and colors at this point. And now you need to hide any other layers above it and export this as a PNG file. Now open up this PNG texture file in GIMP. Go up to Filter, Map, Tile Seamless and you'll see the image will jump a little. This is in fact now a seamless tile with just one click. Now you can save this tile, either overwriting the original or save it as a copy if you want to. More often than not, I will overwrite the original. Now you can add the background back into your pattern in Photoshop and your pattern now has a seamless textured background too. Here's another texture I made in Procreate which I have made seamless using GIMP. I can airdrop it over to my iPad and add it back into this tile here. And now you can see it's a lovely seamless tile. Just make sure that you're always adding it to a file that is the same dimensions as your texture tile already is. Changing the size of the tile in Procreate or Photoshop can make gaps appear when the tile gets interpolated as it's resized. If you want a deeper dive on any of this, I have a full in-depth class on this over on Skillshare, which covers things like making your own background textures out of paint, and also how to correctly resize your tiles using Photoshop so that they do stay seamless and so you don't get those white gaps creeping in. All the links I've mentioned are in the video description, Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos just like this.